GA cesarean section. Intubation equipment tray with difficult intubation aids available and induction drugs are already prepared. Administer antacid sodium citrate if available. Put patient in left lateral tilt or wedge under hip and apply pre-oxygenation for three minutes whilst theater and patient are prepared. Apply monitoring, continue pre-oxygenation as final surgical preparations are made and establish intravenous infusion not shown. Optimize head position on pillow. Ensure functioning suction closely available. Reassure patient. Neonatal resuscitation facility is prepared. Induce anesthesia by rapid sequence induction. Intravenous induction agent followed by saxamethonium after loss of consciousness. Assistant simultaneously applies cricoid pressure and airway is maintained with 100% oxygen. With continuous application of 100% oxygen and cricoid pressure throughout, wait until fasciculations end or one minute has passed if fasciculations not seen. Perform laryngoscopy and intubation whilst maintaining cricoid pressure. If view is not optimal, use cricoid pressure to move larynx, backwards, upwards, rightwards pressure, and use bougie as needed here. Good pre-oxygenation prevents any drop in oxygen saturations. Connect circuit, gently ventilate with 100% oxygen, inflate cuff until no leak, confirm correct placement, clearly ask assistant to release cricoid pressure and allow surgeons to commence immediately, securely fix tube. Maintain anesthesia with vapor in low dose, nitrous oxide and oxygen. After delivery of the baby, Give syntocinone according to local protocol. Increase vapor concentration. Give opiate analgesia. Remove lateral tilt on table and continue close routine monitoring. Basic monitoring GA. Continual observation of patient, regular check of monitor, regular documentation of drugs administered and vital signs on an anesthetic chart. Observation of surgery and likely effect on the anesthetized patient. Hands on the patient and overall awareness.